Really like that? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to have to go talk to It was pigs. Bubbles. He's a smooth talker. <laughs> shoot in the evening all the time this is beautiful good evening beautiful people it is not blistering hot it was actually really terribly terribly hot today so we were like you know what let's just wait until the end of the day when it's not burning hot like the sun <laughs> i uh, i had to go get feed. our feed delivery today yeah. and loading loading this thing in the heat is just like oh i'm not unloading until it cools down right so so we've had That's... dinner, and I know you guys are gonna ask. It's like a casserole thing that I make. Um, it's potatoes, usually a butternut squash or an acorn squash, mm -hmm. onions, and then whatever sausage I have on hand, chop it all up, put some olive oil and, and some beets salt. from our garden. And beets from our garden tonight was beets from our garden. Um, it chop is it all so up good. and then bake it for about an hour until it's done. It's it's really good and it fills everybody and I just I know there's people that are gonna ask and be what like was What that? was that? How did you make it? So there you go. <laughs> so you gotta get this truck unloaded. Yep, I'm gonna haul what like 30 40 bags 30, of feed. 30 bags. Yeah, so we've made it about two months on what we had bought previously We still have two, some pig food. Three. We have a bunch of turkey food left and we had a couple bags of starter yeah. um, Chicken food, so it was like eh, we're really low. So it's time to go get some more. So alrighty all right okay are you, i like, should probably i should probably wait <laughs> a little bit longer a but like we're losing light yeah. and, so i'm gonna do it now okay All right, everything's restocked and ready to go. It was a lot of feed. Yeah. But it feels good. Yeah. We, uh, we've we been pretty happy with Rady Fork. Um, anybody who is like, you know, around North Car Carolina, yeah. um, they're a local business. You know, uh, local within a few hours. Yeah. But it's one of the only places we're able to find soy-free, organic. Right. Uh, like, it's, it's what we want. Have been looking for. I mean, we can't really find that stuff. We can find organic at Tractor Supply. But or you can order and pay shipping on other stuff. Right. Just, the way this worked out, it's great. Yeah. Buying it like this is like it's a load off because uh, we have it all. Right. And it's We're like not... several months. Yeah. I don't have to go out once a month or twice a month or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's more upfront because you're buying so much. But I don't have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Like when it gets down to where it's like three, four bags left. Then it's like okay now i have to worry about right it. no we're, pressure we're restocked we're good for probably another two months this last round made us about two months and in a couple weeks when the meat birds are in the freezer yeah our food consumption will go way, way down because <laughs> the pigs aren't eating that much no the pigs uh what are they doing i'm feeding those pigs six pounds a day right and then these pigs they don't the care they, they can't see that you're feeding the guinea hogs six pounds a day <laughs> and the mango that way They're, it's over there right and the guinea hogs or, or the mangas are getting yeah. um what do you say three pounds uh i give them like three pounds yeah. and they don't care it will last them all day it will they just 
And then we give them don't care. You know, yard waste and roughage. And they stuff. get all of our you know carrot tops, beet yeah. tops, and stuff like that. Yeah. Whatever we pull out of the garden, since they're right in the barn, they're close. Right, they're so right they, there. So they, uh, they're warming up to us. They are. I actually walked in there with the beet tops today, and they were like, "Hey, lady, what's up? What you got there?" <laughs> really like that? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go talk. To it was pigs. Bubbles. He's a smooth talker. <laughs> Anyways, so the feed for the pigs and the turkeys and all that is not going very fast. It's the meat birds. Yeah. And so once they're in freezer camp, uh, that feed will last even longer. Way longer. Yeah. So we made about two months with this last round and that was great. Mm -hmm. And it was so nice and we had it and didn't have to worry about it. Yeah. Didn't have to go to tractor supply like once a week, which was really annoying. And then of course, you know, you go to tractor supply and it's like, well, while I'm here, I need to get this. So it winds up being a way more expensive trip. I'm sure all of you know what that's like, so. How it goes. <laughs> Let's just say it's better if I stay away from tractor supply. So true. Anybody who's interested, if you're you know around our area, you're in North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he d delivers. He ships. he ships. I know he ships. So you could at least order like he get, has 25, 50 pound, and then like up you to can totes, buy totes and stuff. Um, we don't have the ability to move a tote right now. No. Otherwise. That's or how I'd be place getting to it. to stick it at the moment. I, mean, I, I could get a tote in there. Like, I could rip the wall off and put it in there, but yes, I'm not that strong. <laughs> I, I can move 3,000 pounds of feed 50 pounds at a time. time. <laughs> That's right. In the car, then out of the car. <laughs> so, like, anybody, anybody curious, we'll leave a link. Yeah. Yeah. Go check them out. Go They're check them out. Good people. We've been real really happy. Jo George is awesome. He is. He's a sweetheart. So, in one of our last videos, you had mentioned that you use the Australorp flock to prep areas and clear out areas and do that and at the time they were just on grass and it was dead and it didn't look very impressive. They, they stayed there about what a week and a half yeah and they just completely right tore up the grass which is fine and but... we weren't using that spot for prep they, they weren't prepping they were just there while we were gone in Arkansas to make it easier for our farm sitters but now behold the jungle chickens <laughs> they're quite happy. So I didn't I didn't film it this morning, um, moving them. I was out here with my little bushwhacker and I cleared a, a spot for the net to go. So this is all overgrown. I had cleared this for the kids Ooh. so they could, you know. Notice the uh, tree fort tree. It, or... Hey, it's got a mailbox. It's, like, uh, right. That means they have an address. Exactly. <laughs> the thing I found when I was first clearing this is it's pretty dangerous to uh, weed eat because all of the rocks and various... This was a trash pile like yeah, everything else around pile, here. And I've once I got it cleared, I pulled out most of the big stuff and, but now the poison ivy is, yeah. you know, it's summer. So that's, it's doing what poison ivy does best. So I put them in there. They're going to stay in there as long as it takes. And probably when they're done, it'll be bare dirt. Yes. So they obviously won't be taking out the trees cause they're not goats. Well, I mean, you never know, but <laughs> they won't be taking out the high stuff, but they'll clear like that big thing of grass. They'll take that out. They'll clear all you the... You can already see what they've done. Yeah. I cleared enough for this this netting and everything on that side. I mean, you can see how tall it was. Yeah. And it's all laid down. Yeah. Like, they're and you monsters. Can see, I mean, they're in there being I jungle can't. chickens. Look at her. She's like, you can't see me. So using chickens for clearing has been amazing. Oh, it's been awesome. You don't have to do anything. We honestly don't even have to clear out any of the trash because they work up and around They're it. They're not and... gonna eat it. No. I think the only thing you'd have to worry about is if there was like chemicals, like right. old batteries or something like yeah, that. We don't have any of that. This it's is like, this is like cinder blocks building and, supplies yeah. and stuff like that. So they've been doing a great job. This will be trashed or not trashed, I guess. Cleaned up. Cleaned up in, in a couple days, really. And then we'll leave the, them in here. I think this is my second favorite use for mobile chickens yeah. is having them clear something I don't want to. Right? You uh, don't have to deal with it. My number one favorite is when you build a compost pile yes. and you move the chickens to the compost pile in a garden spot Yeah. and you pull the walls off like this little system I've got here. Yeah. Uh, that one. Basically you'd make Fancy. just one of those, build a compost pile in a garden spot and by the time the chickens get to it, it's ready. You pull the sides off. They spread it. Yeah. Bam. Garden. Yep. A lot of people have asked about the orchard and how it's doing. And our coupon code is still good for the end of the month. We'll talk about that in a second. But we just kind of wanted to like give you an update and give you an opportunity to get trees. So these are from Stark Brothers. Um, we have been like stupid happy with them. They are really hardy. They're doing great. They uh, 
I mean, they obviously you can see they're leafing out like crazy. This is a peach. We had to come and pull off all the fruit. Yeah. Because we want, you know, tree growth, not fruit growth. Right. The first couple of years. So for but it's always painful. It but. is. It's so hard. Like especially because the nectarines really fruited this year. I think each of them got like five, and I was like, but I love nectarines. <laughs> but if you don't, if you let the fruit go and set then it steals all the energy from the roots which is what we want them to mm -hmm. to be putting their energy into right now is the root system because that as it, as it goes deeper it gives the tree more strength and energy and vitality later which means in the long run you will get more fruit so having to sacrifice a few up front is what it is it, it is what it is i can go to the fruit stand and get fruit right now so. it's, it's that whole uh, you suffer right now right so you have a better time later yes exactly so we've got peaches we've got nectarines we have some pear trees some apple trees we've got a couple pawpaws in here and they're i mean that like i said they're doing great they're doing really really well we have one casualty one casualty and it was my our fault. fault not stark's fault at all <laughs> it was one of those we planted it a little too late well not even planted it too late i let it sit it was bare root and i let it sit for a week yeah well that's what i meant by planting and, it too late like it didn't water it or anything yeah so. the other ones that were with it survived it so, like, <laughs> so it was just the one casualty that it happens so yeah everything's doing great um like i said we do have a coupon code with stark right now you can get 10 percent off of 50 dollars or more with holler 10 i'll drop that below plus a link it's only good till the end of the month till the end of the month to the end of june for so for anybody watching this later june 2020 like that's it that's the end um but like i said we've been super super happy they look great. I'm excited. I mean, this is one of those like really long-term excitement things. The pear. <laughs> the pear looks great. Look how happy this thing looks. Like this is a beautiful specimen. It is a beautiful With a ladybug. Aw, yay, ladybug. Here it is. Hi, ladybug. So it's kind of like having a baby. You know how you have to wait forever and ever and ever and ever and it feels like a million years and you're hot and you're uncomfortable. <laughs> Just oh wait. wait, that's the baby. No, the orchard is great. You just have to wait a couple of years and then you get fruit. Yay. <laughs> People have wondered, where's Meg? How come she's not in the vlog? <laughs> Meg is sitting down a lot these days. <laughs> Again, orchard is great. Coupon code, check that out below. Well then for you guys, I know a lot of you have gotten trees already and have been super happy just like we have. And they are trying to keep up with everything going on. Um, they're, they're cranking out orders like crazy. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a great job. Trees are one of those things that your kids and grandkids will thank yeah. you. Like you're not just planting a tree for you, you're planting the tree for the next guy. Yep, exactly. Working on getting our summer, and I guess kind of fall garden, because these will be ready in fall, um, going. We have pumpkins and sweet potatoes from Miss Charlotte. She's one of our favorites. She's, she is dear to our, our hearts. Um, so she sent me some Cherokee tan pumpkin seeds, and we got those in the ground. And they're looking good. I need to replant a few of them. And then we got sweet potatoes down here. These are the Nancy Hall sweet potatoes. She gave me some when we were at her house last year. You know, I, I put the slip in water. And wow, they're doing really well. They are. They came out and I got them planted last year. But by the time I had planted them, it was already too late. So we didn't really get a return. So this year she sent me another potato with slips already growing. So as soon as they got here, I got them plucked off the potato and put in the ground. And then I've, I've reset the potato in water. So hopefully that'll go. I thought we killed them. I, th <laughs> I thought, you know, it was too hot in the, yeah. the shipping container. They did look um, a little. Not we good. got them in the ground and watered them and they just looked rough. They did. And it was like, well, I came out and they were all laid over on the ground. I was like, they're dead. But we had the potato, so I was going to set more slips and, and go from there. They look great. They do look great. I mean, they are, they are taken off. So thank you to Miss Charlotte for sending those. And looking up the Nancy Hall, these are a local variety to here, to North Carolina in particular, uh, and the South. So um, they're very, they are apparently very, very hardy. So hopefully this year we will get quite a few sweet potatoes. Everything always does better in the dirt. It does. Like just past experience. Right. So I think. Uh, Rather than a pot of water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll do good. Yeah. So we have a volunteer tomato here, chicken planted, pretty sure, from the compost pile. And I was out here last night watering, and I have tomatoes! Oh yeah, sure enough, look. I told you. Look at how many flowers I that know. thing has. That's insane. Go, baby, go! So the tomatoes we planted aren't doing anything. I mean, they're growing, but 
I, I will have tomatoes soon. Hopefully what soon. What is it about like the ones that just come up volunteer that do so much better? I think because they've had a season to acclimate. Like they've gone through last season and then they got to sit in the dirt and kind of learn the weather with the seeds. It imprints on their little seed memory. Seed brain? Their seed brain. And then so they know, like a seed actually honestly knows better when it's out in nature than we do when to be planted and when to grow and it learns the seasons and the climate and the temperatures and all that so it, it really takes off and you get extra free tomatoes earlier than all the ones that you planted and worked so hard to try to get tomatoes out of. So it was a little bit of a disheveled vlog. Yeah like, a little, little short. Bit of this, little it's, bit of that. it's always messed up when you're starting so late. Like we said it was so hot today and you did get a little bit of work in the mobile home done. Um, we've we've actually we're like in the middle of like two or three vlogs yeah so like I've filmed some mobile home stuff and I've filmed you know this or that and they're gonna come out probably before this but <laughs> it's just like okay we need some more content so let's keep filming it yeah it, vlog life you know? yeah anyways so you did get some work done but it was hot and then you had to go get pick up so we kind of got messed up today I, I worked half the day and then went and picked up feed and then it came home and it was hot. just like it's it was it's 100 hot. degrees inside that mobile home yeah, right now there's a bug yeah bug. um and so it's just like okay i'm gonna wait till the evening yeah so, so and, and it's it is, very nice it's beautiful tonight it's clear and cool the breeze is blowing it's so nice so we're just gonna wrap it up here Sorry, it was kind of like a little bouncy, but I mean, it is what it is. There's just like a bunch of different things that we wanted to show you. So there it is. I think that'll do it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.